The May Company Ohio was a chain of department stores that was based in Cleveland, Ohio, United States. Topic history In 1899, David May, the founder of May Department Stores, acquired E. R. Hull and Dutton Co. of Cleveland on Ontario Street, renaming it May Company, Cleveland. In 1914 May added an additional landmark building on Euclid Avenue, fronting on the southeast corner of Public Square. The high-rise building stands 149 feet and contains eight floors of space, though floors 7 and 8 were not added until 1931. In 1939 May Co. acquired majority control of another Cleveland store, William Taylor Son & Co., which maintained a separate identity until 1961. Expansion to the suburbs began in the 1950s, with Sheffield Shopping Center, Lorraine in 1953 originally opened as an O'Neill store which was a May Company subsidiary and then changed over to a May Company location in 1967 and Cedar Center Plaza at Cedar and Warrensville Roads in University Heights in late 1956 known locally as Mays on the Heights. In 1960 a branch was opened at Parmatown Mall in Parma, and another in 1961 at Southgate Shopping Center in Maple Heights the Southgate store having been originally opened in 1958 by William Taylor and Son Co. Several mall stores followed in the 1960s and 1970s, including Great Lakes Mall 1964, Great Northern Mall Ohio in North Olmsted 1965, Randall Park Mall in North Randall 1976, Euclid Square Mall in Euclid 1977, and Sandusky Mall in Sandusky 1979. The company also constructed a nine-story warehouse six stories tall, with three sub-basements attached to the south side of the Cedar Center store, designed to handle furniture distribution for Cleveland's east side. The red brick facility, designed to look like an integrated part of the colossal four-story store was used for a short time, but remained empty from 1960 until the University Heights store was demolished and rebuilt in 2002 by this time it was rebranded as Kaufman's. The May Company specialized in mid to higher end fashion merchandise and home furnishings, but target price points placed May Company merchandise at, or below its two major competitors in the Cleveland market Higby's and Halley's. May Company was the first local department store to issue its own personal charge card, announcing it on July 16, 1966 in a Cleveland Plain Dealer article, breaking away from being part of the department store's charge plate a metal card that was notched for each store and used at all participating members which included William Taylor Son & Co., Bailey's, Sterling Lindner Davis, the Higby Company and the Halley Bros. Co., Higby's and Halley's continued to remain part of this system until they each issued their own individual plastic charge cards respectively in 1969. In addition to its merchandise, the company was known for its sponsorship of the Eagle Stamp program. Consumers could earn Eagle stamps on purchases at the May Company as well as on purchases at pick and pay supermarkets, leader drug stores, and participating gas stations and dry cleaners. Completed stamp booklets could be redeemed at May Company for $3 credits toward merchandise purchases at May Company stores. 
The trading stamp program was administered by the May Company owned Eagle Stamp Company of St. Louis from 1903 to 1987. May's Cleveland headquarters building was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. In 1989, May Company, Cleveland and O'Neill's, based in Akron, were merged to form May Company Ohio, as the May Department Stores began consolidating its regional department store divisions. On January 31, 1993 May Company, Ohio was merged into Kaufman's of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and its downtown Cleveland store was closed. Many of its former locations became Macy's in 2006. As of late 2013, the May Co. building is set to potentially house over 350 apartments. Notes <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible>